This conference is brought to you by CallStack, a total software engineering consultancy. Welcome to React Universe Conf. How are you doing? First of all, thank you for being here. And uh, I, I want you to know that we really appreciate that you decided to spend the next two days here with us. We've been working super, super hard to make this event, this experience, very special for you. A and I guess that for the last few years, we've done a lot to set the bar of quality of this event pretty high. And I'm here to tell you that this year ain't going to be any different. So please, Please fasten your seatbelts and do expect the best. So, I hope you're going to like it, you're going to enjoy it. Actually, no, I don't hope you're going to like it. I hope you're going to love it. Because when I think about the weight that the speakers bring on stage, the topics that they are about to talk about, the, the energy that you guys bring into this room, the energy that you guys bring into this room is going to be pretty fucking amazing. I'm sure about it. And uh, I'm thinking, wh why do you actually come for a conference? Why, why did you come here? Well, probably to learn something new, to meet new people, to meet old friends, to expand your mind. All right. But why do you want to do this? Well, you want to get better. You want to grow. You want to be successful. Great. So what is it that we have to do here to make you successful, to make this event a success? And the answer is pretty simple. It's all about the new action that will be generated in the result of this event. Now, let me tell you a secret. For the next two days, our job is not about, we're not in the business of React and React Native anymore for the next two days. We're in a business of inspiration. Our job is single. Our mission is only to inspire you, to create capabilities for you to change your mind, to think differently, to do something new, something more, something exciting, change your mind, be inspired. And this is what we're going to do. Kaboom! <laughs> All right. Now that I raised your expectations, let me hand it over to somebody who's going to do the real job. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some proper noise for a head of technology of Colstack, Mr. Mike Pieszkawa. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Good morning, React Universe Conf. It's great to be here. For the past seven years, we've gathered here in Wroclaw to celebrate React Native community at the React Native EU conference. And React Native community is one of the most vibrant communities and the React Native EU conference gathered the, one of the biggest crowds of React Native developers in Europe and across the world. It's a community of diverse people, diverse developers, merging Objective-C, Java, JavaScript, with React and React Native. And today, our focus is even more on React and the web. React and React Native have become major technologies. Their communities cross between web development, functional programming, mobile development, TV, extended reality, desktops, and beyond. In 2013, Pete Hunt introduced us to React, rethinking 
the best practices about web development. In 2015, React Native extended those principles to the mobile world and native apps. And now it's time to build some bridges. So let's recap how do we write React Native apps today. How many of you here are React Native developers? Woo! Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's quite a crowd, uh, unexpectedly. Uh, so I suppose it's kind of obvious that you can deploy this code, more or less, to not only iOS and Android, but also Windows, Mac OS, Vision OS, and dozens of, dozens of different TVs. Uh, well, you can even cover web users, for example, thanks to the React Native web library. Uh, and, uh, uh, and that's because web is just another platform in React Native developer portfolio, isn't it? So do we have some web developers out here as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like... Get some, get some excitement. Thank you for being here. So... Do you write your web apps like this? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, just, that's just my kind of experience. Uh, because this is not what web dev, this is not how web dev is done, right? So web development is closer to this. It's closer to HTML. Uh, it doesn't have some imported text and views. It has HTML elements uh, that make more sense for you as a uh, web developer on that platform. So it's slightly different, but under the hood, it's the same React. And worry not, the core React team and also our React Native community hears you. And let me tell you about what we're bringing to you to bury that compatibility gap so you can join us without that much of an effort. So React core team started a special convergence stream where they built tools for universally handling web compatible events. Uh, they created a subset of DOM and a styling library that resembles CSS more closely, all inspired by the web. And we're not stopping here. In our React Native bubble, we have our own ways of interacting with platform functionality, like reading a battery level, uh, which we call native modules, and usually access them through third-party libraries. But as web developers, you don't have to import a library to get the same information, but just the call, just call the get battery, battery API available in the browser provided it implements the spec. Last year, in the very same spot, Microsoft announced the idea of bringing some, some of those experiences and the same experiences, actually, for React Native users and developers. And yesterday, we sat down at the Core Contributor Summit to discuss how we can move forward with this proposal, and we're already working on making that vision happen. We're also putting other advanced web APIs to React Native, like WebGPU, for example. Why? So that we can access and use our favorite web libraries, like FreeJS or React Free Fiber. And by the way, to skip the browser and maximize the performance. On the other side, there's React community bringing those web development experiences into extended reality devices, thanks to WebXR specification. So today, through a web browser window. Tomorrow, we can skip the browser. Why? Because with React Native, we just can. And we can do it in a more memory efficient way, too. In fact, React Native community is already working on making that happen. So, People across React and React Native communities work hard to, on creating a layout engine 
a rendering engine, a JavaScript engine, an event loop, a subset of DOM, and web APIs in a single project. Do, do you see where this is going? If you look at React Native from slightly different angle, it seems to resemble yet another browser to support for a web developer, isn't it? Native is not unlike a browser, really. And at the same time, it's so much more powerful because it lets you use the web platform and your skill without being restricted by a browser window. React Native is bringing web ideas to any other platform by speaking its native tongue. And for any React Native developer, it's probably quite clear that they can treat the web as yet another platform. I, I know it was to me when I shipped my first mobile app with React. And we want to invite you to join this new perspective and mindset of thinking about React, React community, and React Native community. Because to us, it's really the same thing if you look at it from a different perspective. At Callstack, we like to call these full stack React and cross platform React Native ecosystems as React Universe. React Universe is simply a tech ecosystem with React at its core. It's a belief that all platforms are equally accessible to developers using React, and that there's always something to learn from another platform. The React Universe is nothing new under the sun, and at the same time, it's everything new if you look at it if you never look at it from, from that perspective. So let's explore what this all means to, to us developers. Being able to ship React to multiple platforms lets you reach more users and increase your own value on the market. Having a product shipped in React universe, you can actually ship it faster. So there's mostly because there's mostly no uh, extra work to do for, for other platforms and, and to repeat it. React gives us the tools to leverage servers to further optimize the UX and performance without necessarily being backend developers. And in this environment, React generalists and platform specialists can work side by side, collaborating together. So let's explore this idea slightly further. Uh, one of the most interesting laws of software development is that organizations create products and software that resembles their communication lines. In other words, uh, because communication lines are often co correlated with organization structure, they ship the org chart. And in the React universe, you can ship your org chart today and a different one tomorrow and a different one the day after. Because having React at the core, you have more ease and freedom to communicate between and move between the teams and the platforms, regardless whether it's web, mobile, TV, or anything else, really. And the more you leverage this ecosystem, the more flexible your organizations can get, which means more flexible products that can respond to market changes faster. Most business people I know would kill for something that allowed them to move quicker. And at the same time, they don't realize they already have the tools. What's most alluring to me is that you, React developer can drive those changes and influence your products 
and workplace and organizations in ways that you thought were never previously possible. So what options do we have to ship in React Universe today? First one I would like to get is Expo Universal Apps. If you're starting from React Native and you need a managed solution with a great developer experience that supports iOS, Android, web, and partially macOS as well. There is React Native Web. If you're also starting from React Native and need slightly more flexibility, for example, choosing a different bundler than Metro or shipping to a different platform. There's React Strict DOM. If you like to use new tools and make web developers hate you a little less for disrupting their workflow. Uh, or you can go full custom with the platform extensions supported by Metro and Webpack. So what's next? React is virtually everywhere today. It's growing in usage exponentially. It's used by millions of individuals, startups, and enterprises. And people use React as their first programming language. Can you believe that? The technology grew bigger and more popular than anyone could have thought, pushing open web ideas into so many open and closed platforms. Having that in mind, we believe we have some responsibility to the idea of React and to everyone that uses it. We believe together we can converge React and React Native communities into a hive mind super community, a React universe community of diverse people that learn from each other and are not afraid to dive deeper where necessary. A community of generalists shipping products and specialists thriving in their platforms. A community where we're happy, which we're happy to bring together for this conference. We know there is a long way for unified React, but the direction is there. And at Colstack, we want to make sure it stays on track. So let's open ourselves to new horizons at this conference. React Native developers, go watch some web and full stack talks. Web developers, get inspired by those React Native topics. Mingle together and share the experiences, pains, and success stories. And most importantly, have an amazing time at this conference. Thank you.